Ontario's Government for the People is introducing an unprecedented 10% tuition reduction. That's good news for students, but two things. A cut to tuition means a cut to college and university budgets, 2 to 4%. That could affect students down the line, but financial aid is changing too. Under the previous government, an increase in grants essentially made school free for those from low-income families, but now they'll get a mix of grants and loans. I pay for all my university myself, and I work 30 hours already, so... Um, this OSAP hike will be very difficult for me to um, continue my studies. Plus, students will have to repay those loans starting right after graduation. The six-month grace period currently in effect, that's done. Education's under attack! What do we do? For some, it's just too much. And today, many were out voicing their frustration. And there's actually another cut on the table. Students will be able to opt out of additional fees, just choose not to pay them. But losing out on what those fees pay for, that has some students very worried. Ron Charles looks at what's at stake. Student services are a right, we will not give up the fight. Ironically, the protest outside Ontario's legislature is against a plan that targets the very money that helps fund demonstrations like this. That's disgusting! The Ford government's plan allows students to opt out of fees that fund their student unions, campus clubs and newspapers, and would scrap a mandatory fee to the Canadian Federation of Students, the rally's organizers. But its biggest concern is what it may mean for organizations and services on campuses. And I think that it's very paternalistic for the government to say that, you know, we're providing you this opt-out feature when really that's just going to take the legs out from under these organizations who try to provide crucial services for students. Services like a legal clinic at Ryerson University. Uh, how well is that used? A lot of students? A lot. He's always overbooked. Um, we, have, um, we have tax clinics that we uh, open up during tax season for the students. The government says fees for essential student health and safety services would still be mandatory, but everything else... So as an example, would an LGBTQ program or group or club, will that be deemed mandatory? That's up to the institutions themselves to decide. So. But you're giving them the option to make that a mandatory program? Well, I, I'm under the understanding that that would be con considered an opt-out or... What, we're, what we're doing is making classifications of, of, uh, of fees. At Carleton University, students are contemplating the pros and cons of being able to avoid about $700 a year in fees. I want to pay for what I want, but then it takes away from others. You should be able to choose which ones you want to participate in. That sounds simple, but student groups say they will opt in for a fight against the new policy because it could threaten their very survival. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.